What's up, you guys? Back again for another video. Happy Wednesday, wherever you guys are. And today we're going to take a look at some awesome bargains. There's been a bit of a sale going on down at Game, and I've been using this kind of phrase, something about May, May sales or something. So I thought I'd go down and check it out. And this is a couple of bits of footage that Jess actually shot. Now I never knew this existed. You need to check this out. Admittedly, I wouldn't pay $24.99 for it, but look at this. The Crash Bandicoot files. Um, like I said, $24.99, pretty pricey, but nonetheless, I want to know if any of you guys have it or if you've heard of it. Now, it looks really cool, really nice artwork going through, and I think if I could get this for about $14.99, possibly top end $19.99, it might be one that I could kind of put in the collection. But there's some really nice books, loads of stuff on sale. Um, I always like to have a look through these little knickknack areas because you typically come find some pretty decent stuff um these are apparently a hot thing at the moment something to do with the playstation playstation version of amiibos or something or whatever um jess knows more about it than me so if you want to ask her then leave a comment down below now i was actually talking to jess about overwatch and i'm absolutely blown away that this still racks up a price of 44.99 in store yes you can get it online a lot cheaper but nonetheless there are like people that would actually go in and buy this like at 44.99 which is absolutely berserk to me that's absolutely crazy um and just out of interest actually what what would you pay for um overwatch like what would be a good price and what is your preferred platform to play overwatch on let me know in the comment section below guys um as i do try to read every single comments even though I don't reply. Now over at the front we've got some really nice point yourself and new games that are coming out and you saw State of Decay 2 right there. I'm really looking forward to that. Let me know if you want to see some streams of State of Decay 2 I did mention it. Um, and then over to the Nintendo section. I want to know if any of you guys have played this. It's not a game that I've seen previously. Um, Again, top end at like 40 quid, but it was a you know, really nice addition. And then obviously you're about to see an indie game called Celeste, which is inspired by the Super Nintendo era. So some nice 16-bit artwork. Let me know if you've played it. I've heard great things. I've heard awesome podcasts and the gameplay looks absolutely solid. But for now, we're going to come back. Let's take a look at some Xbox One controllers. So I'm having a bit of a craze at the moment for Xbox 360 games. Now this, this section had changed considerably since I'd last been in. I think a lot of people have been in and snapped up a couple of the bargains. Um, everything was reasonably priced. I, I'm not really going to dive into it too much in this video. Um, I own a lot of these on PlayStation 3. Um, but I'm really looking for some... I am always, 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 always drawn to Xbox 360 sections where I'm in CX. Um, not so much at retro game markets because I tend to just look for like cartridge only stuff at retro game markets But anything on the high street, I absolutely love being in the 360 uh, section So again, keep them recommendations rolling Payday 2, pretty decent game but 7 quid, eh, I don't, you know, you can get that um, online for much cheaper and to be absolutely honest with you This was a sale that I saw on Twitter and I also got a notification on the app on my phone so I thought, I'm going to go down. Um, I'd seen a lot of people, like other games, tweeting bargains out on their on their Twitter feeds. You know, there was like a special edition of Uncharted 4 for like uh, 49.99, like the, 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 the bump edition, the huge edition. So I thought, I'm going to go down, see what they've got in. Maybe they drag some stuff out of the warehouse. But to be brutally honest with you, a little bit disappointed, guys. A little bit disappointed. Um, but let me know um, what you guys think. You may have a diff very different setup in your game. Smash some comments below and let me know. Now, 
three, uh, 360, excuse me, Xbox One stuff. I always find that in these sales, you always get more Xbox One stuff on sale compared to PlayStation 4. Um, admittedly, sales aren't that great. I mean, check it out, like a few pounds off that edition, pre-owned on Far Cry 5. Nah, don't think so. And Thief at 9.99, for me, that's a little bit expensive. I actually really enjoyed playing through uh, Thief. There's a lot of haters out there, but if you've got a spare couple of quid and you want to dive into a decent game, it's one of the original PS4 games, like was really, really old. The graphics aren't even that great. I don't think it stood the test of time very well. But nonetheless, Thief is actually a really decent story. So go and check it out if you haven't checked it out. Now again, Jess brought this to my attention. Some really cool totes, some mini totes. Uh, Bethesda, obviously you don't know what you're gonna get. Not really something that I was kind of looking for, but I just wanna like, I really like doing these, these tours because I love seeing what you guys say in the comment section and I love that we can all share information um, and I love to keep things as relevant and up to date as possible because we know that these sales change constantly. Uh, we know that these sales change constantly so that's why I really like to do them as well as the retro game hunts and the charity shop hunts as well. So Dying Light the following, absolutely wicked game. I hope you get some nice follow-ups. Um, and as I mentioned pre like what I say previously, earlier in this video, State of Decay 2 is dropping on Xbox One and PC on the 22nd. That's the, gonna be the general release. I think there's an earlier release that's available on the 18th. So I am so psyched to have a new, well, I will have a new zombie game in my uh, collection. I'm so, so excited for it. Um, I've never played State of Decay, so I'm gonna be completely new to the franchise. So that makes me even more more excited for it but let me know if you enjoyed State of Decay and let me know what other kind of main things you really enjoyed about the game because I'm super hyped like I want to have a conversation about some kick-ass zombie games with you guys in the comment section below um, I'm super excited so yeah let me know wall coming at you with some Spyro. Uh, the HD trilogy is coming guys and I know a lot of you are super excited. Um, me personally I'm kind of like 70% excited for that because as a kid you know for me the PlayStation 1 was either like Crash Bandicoot or Spyro. I know that may seem a little bit narrow-minded but that's that for me were the two games that seemed to burst with colour, that seemed to burst with awesome gameplay that everybody seemed to be talking about and I favoured Crash Bandicoot that little bit more so I'm not as hyped as what I was for the Crash Bandicoot trilogy remake but I will still get it, I am still psyched for it um, and obviously it's a PlayStation exclusive and my PlayStation girl at heart, you guys know. Now. GTA 5. Let's talk about GTA 5 shall we? Jess came over to me at this kind of section she said I cannot believe this game is still like really kind of top end a little bit like Overwatch and that's obviously because it has a huge online community a lot of it's a very popular game to stream um, on PC as well as on console um, but I personally feel like it's one of those kind of flogged to death games. I'm really disappointed we never got any additional footage for the campaign. They focus so heavily online because I know that that's where their little cash stream is and that's cool with me, that is absolutely cool. Um, I love Rockstar and I have nothing bad to say about them. Um, I, that's just my two cents now, I wanna know what you guys think as well. Um, two made a drop in, Red Dead Redemption 2, spoke about Red Dead Redemption 2 in great depth and of course Black Ops 4, we are getting some new information on Black Ops 4 and if you're watching this video before May 17th 2018 then I think we've got a lot to look forward to. I'm really excited for the, the announcement on May 17th and of course if you're watching it after uh, let me know what you think um, because I don't know what I think yet because it's not even come out um, that, that being the announcement so not too fussed about campaign uh, more focused on multiplayer as a COD player anyway. over to 3DS, DS and Nintendo Wii games. Looking over here with uh, Detective Pikachu, not a game I would buy. I'm gonna say that straight off the bat. I'm gonna say that straight off the bat and I know it's up ruffled the feathers of a lot of other gamers as well as they don't really like what, where it's going. Um, me personally, I haven't played it but it's, it's, it's a game that I'm not willing to like pay 
full price for. If I can get it super, super cheap, um, then I'll be willing to give it a go and make more of an objective um, decision on whether or not I like it. But yeah, let me know again. Um, I think it's one that Jess would really like, so maybe that's something she, she would play. I don't know, Jess, I'm sure you'll watch this. Let us know. Um, and the reason I'm kind of siphoning through Monster Hunter is, is because obviously it's in the forefront of a lot of people's minds. Um, I believe the Switch is getting a Monster Hunter um, reiteration of a 3DS game. I don't remember which one it was, um, but I think that that is coming out on the Switch. So the Switch is doing super well. It's, it's sold like 15 million console units right now. And obviously E3 is upon us, and I'm hoping that Nintendo continue to impress us with lots of new IPs. Um, I'm hoping we don't just get a new barrage of HD remakes because I think we've exhausted that now. Um, Nintendo are doing a lot of recycling, very old content, i.e. with the SNES Mini, with the NES Mini. Both consoles I love very, very dearly. Both consoles I grew up on. But I think it's time for something new. Um, and obviously Breath of the Wild being one of the newest like games to the Switch, it's done so well. It's I think a lot of fans would love to see something new from Nintendo. Um, and fingers crossed for an F-Zero, honestly. I've been saying that for years. But we'll see. We will see. Now, I always love the artwork. Uh, I actually put this over on my Instagram really impressed with anything to do with Mario artwork. It's just a game that really pops. But guys, I'm ashamed to say I don't own Super Mario Maker. I ain't paying $22.99 pre-owned, no way. Um, a lot of this stuff I would typically get online. I'll go to my friend's uh, local retro game stores anyway. And you know, just to kind of support local business. But unfortunately, I don't really live near um, many retro game stores. So this is kind of like my go-to if I want a quick sale, or I want a game guide, or I want some Pokemon cards, as you guys can see here. Or some t-shirts, which you're also about to see. Um, bloody expensive, I'm staying away from them. Um, so yeah, there we go. Not much by way of May sales, but nonetheless, you guys get to see what I've been up to over the weekend, um, because this was filmed last weekend as it goes out on Wednesday of this week. So thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you're having a beautiful day. Don't forget to share the video, hit subscribe and hit like if you enjoyed it. I will be back on Friday with some more content. And of course, we have streams all weekend. But for now, guys, have a good one. My name is Gemma. Take care. Love ya. See you soon.